My name is Greg Bavington. I'm the executive director of the Dunan Deshpande Queen's Innovation Centre at Queen's University in Canada. This is my first development dialogue and it's been very, very exciting to be here. I'm with a delegation of nine other people from Queen's University and it's really remarkable to see the scale of the challenges that have been taken on with people who are associated with the sandbox here in Hubli. It uh, really puts uh, Canada's challenges into perspective and it gives us tremendous confidence uh, and optimism as we return to Canada about what can be done in terms of rising to solve the problems that exist. We came here knowing that um, uh, the sandbox uh, ha has, you know, has been around for about 10 years and has had considerable success and growth. Uh, we're quite early in our journey at the Queen's uh, Innovation Centre and very early in working with uh, Dunan and Deshpande and we really wanted to see um, how the people who had so much experience, diversity of experience, had tackled problems which are of orders of magnitude greater in terms of numbers than the, the problems we have in Canada. Uh, in particular, uh, with respect to social innovation, uh, it surprises some people to hear that we have some fairly deep uh, social problems in Canada and uh, as I mentioned it's it's it gives us great excitement and optimism to see the scale of problems that can be that can be solved when uh, the right people uh, put the right techniques to practice. I think it would be um, far be it from me to uh, to, to tell the folks here at the Sandbox what they should be doing. We, we came thinking we'd, we'd learn quite a bit, but we really, really learned a lot. Uh, and, and I think maybe that's the lesson. Um, we have Canada and India are very different places, but um, the differences are, are interesting and fascinating to talk about, but we have so much more in common uh, than we have different. And I, you know, I think when we uh, every opportunity we can get to bring people together from different places with different life experiences who are facing different challenges in their own countries to share best practices, to share ideas, everybody benefits. So, uh, you know, the only advice I could give is, is keep growing and, and please keep sharing your, your experiences and the knowledge you've gained. It's very valuable to us. To me, scaling effectively means striking the very difficult balance between scaling too fast. When we see these terrible problems in front of us that are affecting people's lives, sometimes ending people's lives early, it's, it's almost impossible to resist growing and moving as quickly as you can. But, but if you move and grow too quickly, you, you run the risk of collapsing under your own weight, not having enough good people, not having the right resources at the right time to continue to scale. So it's, that, it's finding that balance of scaling as quickly as you can without outpacing your ability to continue to do it well, maintain your passion, maintain the quality of services that you're providing to these people who really need you to be there for them.